Hi, this is Laura from Laura's Lovely Gifts. Today's video is one that I've been meaning to make for quite some time. I did do an original version of this video, but for some reason my audio equipment failed. It sounded right to me on the computer, but when I uploaded it, apparently it lost all the audio. So I decided to redo the whole thing. So without further ado, I present to you Layered Outline Text Tutorial, The Redo. Now before we get started, this is part one. Part one is going to cover fonts that already have an outline included within the font. The font that I'm using for this project is Varsity Regular. I downloaded it from defont.com. I'm going to link that down below if you would like to download it as well. Other Cricut features used in this project include weld, shapes, slice, and contour. Okay, we're here in our Cricut Design Space screen and I selected text. You'll see that the font is already selected, Varsity Regular. Now I'm going to type the letter we're working with, which is L for Laura. I did it in capital and lowercase to show you that if you wanted to stop here, you absolutely could. You could just cut, weed out what you don't need, but not every character has this option. Numbers won't, and as you'll see here where I'm typing out punctuation, there's no lowercase option. And the at symbol itself, that doesn't even have an outline. So to work with letters or punctuation, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I type two of the L's, because otherwise if you only have a single letter, you cannot use the contour function. And you see you, can't, you still can't use it here. So what we need to do is weld it together. Now it's an image that we can contour out. But we want to be able to tell our letters apart. So I'm going to go into shapes and we're going to separate these two letters. So stretch that out over one of your L's, highlight everything and slice. Then get rid of your square and the part that was sliced out of it. And now you'll see you have two different L's to work with. I'm going to change the color just to make it a little bit easier to see which one we're dealing with. So let's start with our first L, our gray one. We're going to go to the contour screen. And this one is simple. We're just, we want the outline. So we're just going to get rid of that inside L. So you see the middle one will still give you that outside shape. To show you contrast, let's go to our little L. If we just get rid of the big one, we still have an outline. That is because you still have your middle layer and your smaller layer. They're gonna cut out of each other. So we wanna get rid of that middle layer as well. Now, if you wanted to stay with that design, they would fit inside of each other, but we want it to look like the inside of the letter. So we're gonna get rid of that middle one. And now you see the inside of our L that we saw before. Now you're thinking, what is a counter? According to Wikipedia, in typography, a counter is the area of a letter that is entirely or partially enclosed by a letter form or a symbol. The counter space, the whole of, that's where the counter name comes from. The stroke that creates such a space is known as a bowl. Latin letters containing closed counters include A, B, D, O, P, Q, R, and lowercase a, b, d, e, g, o, p, and q. And I added in numbers with closed counters would include 4, 6, 8, 9, and 0. So we're typing out our letter O, and as you know, we have to type 2 in order for the options on the bottom right hand screen to work. So we have our two O's. Just like we did with the L, we're going to combine, weld them, and then we're gonna create a shape. We're gonna slice out one of the O's so that we can separate them and work on each one separately, change the colors. You do this because you're creating a layered item, so two different colors. Here's our two O's. Our gray one, we're going to cut out or contour so that we just have that outline border and then we want the inside border, that, those smallest, what appears to be the smallest one. 
on our O on the right, our green O, we want that inside section. So we're going to contour to reflect what we want from each letter. Okay, let's start with our gray O. This is the one where we just want the outlines. Like our L, the big section of the letter, we want to get rid of that smallest piece, that third one down. That's our smallest layer. The tricky part with letters with closed counters is figuring out where to get rid of the inside. So if we do the smallest one of the inside portion, just like we did in the bigger part of the letter, we're just going to get an outline. I'm clicking on the different parts of the inside of the letter just to show you on the left here what the final result is going to look like. So this is if we just got rid of the big one. And you'll see that that does not give us that border part that we want. It gives us the section next to it. So this part here, we want to keep blank. We want that green portion. So we're not going to do the smallest piece. And that's what happens if we don't get rid of anything on the inside at all. So we're going to go back to contour. We're going to get rid of the biggest portion and the medium. And then you'll see that just gives us the inside piece. So we don't want that either. We just want to get rid of the largest piece. That will give us the outline that we want. And now to work on our green O where we just want the inside. We're going to go to contour. We're going to get rid of the biggest piece. And then the smallest piece of the inside. That's going to give us our outlines like we did with the L. That if that's what you want to outline layers, you can stop there. But we want the inside of the letter. So we're going to get rid of the larger piece, the middle one, and the middle one of the smaller piece. That gives you just our inside of our letter. Now we're going to put the skills together and create a word. So let's do my name. The L is a regular single letter and O, R, and A all have closed counters. So we're going to type out our word and because this is multi-letters, we can just type it out once, weld that, and then duplicate it. So then one will be your outside layer and one will be your inside layer or your outline layer. Let's change our colors here. We're going to go with purple and Let's go with orange instead so it stands out a little bit better. We're going to start with our layer, our outline layer. For our L, we're just going to do that third little portion. For the O, we're going to do, for the biggest part, we're going to do the smallest layer. And for the inside part, we're going to do the biggest layer. So there's layers within the layers. But you'll see that it does fit, and that is the portion that we want. Bring that over so you can see exactly what parts are cut out. Let's continue with our contouring. Now we have our R, which we have not done yet. So just like our other two letters, we're going to do the smallest part of the main part of the R. And then for the inside, we're going to do that biggest portion of the inside counter and we're going to repeat with our A. Again, the smallest part and then the biggest part of the triangle. Now let's move on to our orange, so our inside layer. I'm going to bring the orange layer forward. I'm going to go to contour. And now we're going to go opposite. So we're going to get rid of the two biggest layers of the L to just leave our inside. Same thing with our O. For the main part of the letter O, get rid of the two largest layers. And for the inside, to do the small and the medium. And there we have our inside of our O. Let's move on to R. First time for this one get rid of our two biggest portions of the main part of the R and then for the cutout you want to get rid of your two smallest portions. Repeat with your A. And there you have it.
as always, thank you for watching. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, TikTok, and Pinterest.